Hello there, this is Bante Van Rakita Salmonera, also known as Brother Ben. Uh, so today's topic is what is schizoid personality disorder. So first of all, a quick disclaimer, I am not claiming to be a qualified mental health professional. Um, I have a qualification as a diploma in Buddhist psychotherapy and counselling, uh, attained in Singapore and I have a lot of background experience. But today's material comes from Dr. Todd Grande. I've sourced it from his incredibly useful works which are on the internet for everyone to see under his YouTube channel. I highly recommend it. In the interest of raising awareness for mental health issues. Schizoid personality disorder is a mental health disorder and it's categorized in cluster A of the personality disorders in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual. So it's with other disorders like paranoid personality disorder and schizotypal personality disorder. And a lot of times when you hear people uh, use the term schizoid personality disorder, they think of schizophrenia and they're actually distinct disorders. Schizoid personality disorder is characterized by detachment and a restricted range of emotions. A lot of times the term we hear associated with this personality disorder is loner. They have difficulty forming relationships with other people, close relationships, and really no interest in forming those relationships. So there's a deficit with communication and social interaction skills and also no desire to use those skills. We see individuals with the disorder tend to take jobs that have an isolated component, like working alone at night as a security guard. They deliberately choose jobs that don't involve a lot of social interaction. Sometimes individuals with schizoid personality disorder will have a close relationship with a member of their family, but even with the concept of family, they just don't seem to be generally interested in relationships. So it could be that somebody with this disorder has no close relationships. Oftentimes individuals with this disorder don't move out, they don't get married. So they'll live with their parents or live alone. But we also see a decreased interest in any type of pleasure that can be gained from interpersonal experiences, including sexual activity with other people. Individuals with this disorder generally do not have an interest in sex. Individuals with schizoid personality disorder generally don't find pleasure in a lot of activities that would normally bring pleasure. They also seem to be indifferent to praise or criticism. They don't seem to respond to people approving of their behavior or disapproving. They're neutral and they tend to have a cold, flat effect. So the presentation is not typically expressive. Now, what's unusual about schizoid personality disorder is when you look at the DSM, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, and you look at all the different mental health disorders in there, many of the mental health disorders have a criterion that there needs to be a clinically significant distress meaning whatever the symptoms are that are associated with that disorder, they need to lead to some sort of stress for that person, some sort of decrease in functioning. That's not the case with schizoid personality disorder. There's no criterion for clinically significant distress. And a lot of times we see with individuals who have this disorder, they function fairly well. Again, they tend to work in an isolated type of job. They don't have a lot of friends. They don't take a lot of pleasure in various activities. But that doesn't mean they're not functioning. 
Many of them work and many of them are productive. So it doesn't really fit in line with a lot of other personality disorders or mental health disorders in the DSM in that regard. So if you don't have a lot of stress with the mental health disorder, do you need treatment? Well, there are treatments available for schizoid personality disorder. But a lot of times individuals with this disorder do not seek treatment. They don't view themselves as having anything problematic with their affect, their emotions, or thinking, or behavior. We see very few instances of schizoid personality disorder in a mental health community and treatment community. The prevalence in the population, though, is thought to be around 3 or 4%. So there are quite a number of individuals with this disorder and very few being treated if someone with this disorder does come in for treatment. The treatment usually focuses on coping skills, improving relationships, or building relationships, improving social skills and communication. I hope you found this description of schizoid personality disorder to be interesting. Thanks for watching. This is Bante van Rakita, Salmonera, also known as Brother Ben, signing off. So the credit for this uh, video goes to Dr. Todd Grande. My intention is for raising awareness of mental health issues and clarifying about them. May many beings be freed from avoidable suffering. Thank <laughs> you.